Since 1976, the state of Florida has executed 102 convicted murderers, all at Florida State Prison. As of April 13, 2023, 297 offenders are awaiting execution. There were various famous executions that happened in Florida, the likes of Ted Bundy and Jerry White. Jerry White was born on February 12, 1948, in Quincy, Florida. His childhood was not smooth, he grew up in an environment of poverty and instability. Jerry White never met his biological father, and his stepfather, a sharecropper, was murdered when White was a child. White's mother, Mabel Pinkins, worked as a maid and was rarely home during White's childhood. Jerry White began drinking alcohol when he was a teenager. When he was 14, he was arrested for the first time for burglary. Jerry White was sentenced to serve one year in a reform school in Mariana, Florida, where he reported being bitten. Following his release, White's mother noted that his personality suddenly changed and that he seemed quiet and withdrawn for a long, long time. He began drinking alcohol when he was 15. Jerry White subsequently dropped out of school and developed an addiction to heroin. Prior to the crime for which he was executed, White accumulated a long history of arrests for crimes including attempted murder, robbery, larceny, and burglary. In 1977, White was convicted of three counts of robbery and was sentenced to three years in prison. He was released from prison in March 1980, a year prior to the robbery of the Alexander Grocery Store. Overall, prior to 1981, White had accumulated nine felony convictions. Also prior to the murder, White was engaged to marry a woman named Pauline Forster. On March 8, 1981, Melson asked his brother to go with him to Alexander's Grocery on Palm Avenue in Taft in South Orange County. McDonald chose to stay home, a decision that has haunted him ever since. About 11.30 a.m. White, an ex-con with a violent past, walked in and ordered Melson and Alex Alexander into the freezer. At 11.30 a.m. March 8, 1981, Jerry White entered Alexander's Grocery Store in Taft, Florida, with the intent to rob the store. At the time, Alex Alexander, the store's 53-year-old owner, and James A. Melson, a 34-year-old customer, were the only people in the store. White led Alexander and Melson to a bathroom at the back of the store and then shot them both with a pistol. White shot Melson twice, once in his arm and once in his head, while Alexander was shot in the spine. After White shot Alexander and Melson, two unsuspecting customers, a man and his 12-year-old daughter, entered the store. White attempted to force the customers into a freezer and... When they refused, then attempted to shoot them both at point-blank range. However, the gun misfired. Afterwards, White departed the store on foot, while the man and his daughter left the store in their car and reported the shootings to a nearby police officer. During the robbery, White robbed the store of $388. Orange County Deputy Sheriffs found Jerry White lying on his side in a wooded area with cash in his pockets less than an hour after the shootings. When White was apprehended, police discovered that he had sustained gunshot wounds in the groin and left thigh. Police denied that he was shot during his arrest and stated that he accidentally shot himself while attempting to tuck his pistol back into his pants while he was still in the store. Paramedics transported Melson and Alexander to the Orlando Regional Medical Center, where Melson was pronounced dead. Alexander remained in critical condition for days, being kept alive with a respirator. Ultimately, his spinal cord injuries caused him to be paralyzed from the neck down and unable to speak for the rest of his life. 
Alexander remained in a Veterans Administration hospital in that condition until he died approximately four years later, in October 1985, of heart failure and other complications related to the injuries he sustained in the shooting. Jerry White's trial began on April 21, 1982. Witnesses included the unsuspecting customers White had attempted to shoot. On the stand, both positively identified White as the man who had attempted to shoot them and stated that they saw him with cash in his pockets. Jerry White testified at trial that he had requested that Alexander make change for $500 and that Alexander cheated him out of some money during the exchange. According to White, an argument ensued, during which he revealed a pistol to intimidate Alexander. He and Alexander fought over the gun in White's possession. White ultimately claimed that Melson and Alexander's shootings were accidental and that he had sustained the gunshot wounds to his groin and leg during the same struggle. Forensic evidence showed that Melson and Alexander were both shot execution style, at point-blank range from behind. The jury deliberated for 40 minutes before convicting White of first-degree murder and armed robbery. With an 11 to 1 vote, the jury recommended a death sentence for White on the murder charge, and on May 4th, Orange County Judge R. James Stroker formally sentenced White to death. In passing the death sentence, Judge Stroker stated that White did not present enough mitigating circumstances to warrant receiving a life sentence instead of a death sentence and that White had not only consistently chosen to disregard society's rules and laws, but that White had also demonstrated a callous disregard for human life in murdering Melson and attempting to murder three others. In addition to the death sentence for murder, White was also sentenced to life imprisonment for the robbery. Authorities transported White to Florida's death row via the Orange County Sheriff's Office's plane later on May 4. Then Governor Lawton Chiles signed a third and final death warrant scheduling White's execution to take place on December 4, 1995, at 12. 5 p.m. three hours prior to the scheduled execution. White received a last meal consisting of grilled round steak, French fried potatoes, coleslaw, toast, and orange juice. White was escorted to the electric chair shortly after noon. When asked for a final statement, White said, I wish that all the people who can hear my voice will turn to the Lord Jesus Christ as I have. Prior to his execution, White had written a similar statement that he wanted to be released after he died, reading, I have confessed all my sins before the Lord my God. I wish to express my sorrow to all of those I've pained. Jerry White let out a short, muffled scream as he was executed in Florida's electric chair for killing a customer during a 1981 convenience store robbery. As the doctor checked White, Death row inmates on the floor above began beating rhythmically on the bars of their cells. In his last words, the 47-year-old White said, I wish that all the people that hear my voice would turn to the Lord, Jesus Christ, as I have. Just prior to his execution, an expressionless White nodded to his lawyer, who gave him a thumbs up. When the black-hooded executioner turned on the switch at 12.12 p.m., sending 2,000 volts of electricity through the chair, White let out a muffled scream. He lunged against the back of the chair and his hands balled into fists. The executioner, who was paid $150 in cash, turned off the power after a minute and White was declared dead six minutes later. White whose long criminal record included armed robbery and aggravated assault, was sentenced to die for shooting shopper James Melson in the back of the head during the robbery. White also shot the store owner, leaving him paralyzed, who also later died. Jerry White was the 307th person executed in the United States since 1976.
the 35th person executed in Florida, and the 120th person executed by electrocution. Thank you for watching Death Row.